I'm gonna put a stop to this. What the hell? I thought you were gonna pay the kids from school to show up. I gave you $300. Why do you think Dad's here? Hey, Meg, happy birthday. You're the coolest. Well, then what are all the cars doing out there? Oh, they must be from Mort's party. Oh. Well, happy birthday anyway, Meg. See you in the morning. Hey, Quagmire, what's going on? Well, Peter, a little birdie told me that today is... Well, it's your 18th birthday, Meg. That's a very important milestone in a young girl's... I mean, a young woman's life. <laughs> hey, welcome to the adult club, huh? And you know what? You got another member right next door if you ever want to talk and stuff. Happy birthday. I'm on approach into Lambert Field in some of the worst turbulence I've ever flown through. I mean, I have never seen anything like it. Everyone in the cabin was like, ah! But I kept my cool, I trusted my training, and brought the plane in safely. And in fact... What's your name? Derek. <coughs> What's your name? Michael. You're Derek now. We now return to grainy footage of a potential Bigfoot that will surely spark a lively debate in your household. Oh my god, that is real. No, total That's totally real. Monster. Peter, nothing's gonna happen, don't you see? She's only doing this to get a rise out of us. If we fight her on it, she'll only push further. Well, she may not plan on sleeping with him, but you don't know how smooth Quagmire is, Lois. He's like a vagician. Oh, that's clever. Mr. Peter Schmidt, we pumped your daughter's stomach and we found vodka, brohypnol, a fair amount of DNA that is not her own, and a class ring. Harvard? I think it was... SUNY something? No, oh, I don't want to hear anymore! Gosh, Meg, I sure had a swell time with you. Me too, Glenn. God, it's so amazing that you've been my dad's friend for, like, years, and now we have this connection. Hey, uh, do you want to come in for some crystal light or something? Yeah, she's really making me work for it. Maybe you could talk to her. Well, I'll try, but sometimes she can be as stubborn as a mule. I tell you, you, you tell her to do something once, she does the opposite. You know, it's like she ain't even heard you in the first place. It's like talking to a brick wall. Right now. You okay? Yeah, babe. I gotta pee, but I don't want to move. I'm so comfortable right now. I can pause it. Well, I guess you could pause it, but you can't pause me! <laughs> oh, that's Off the market. Your possible nipple ring? All right, well, I better send a text to Backbush. Oh, come on, I'm Backbush? This can't be a surprise to you, Peter. Yeah, I knew. I just didn't know you knew. <laughs> Meg, there's something we need to talk about. Dad, I swear to God, I thought you could flush those things. Meg, you ever heard of Joan Van Ark? No. Here's a picture of Joan Van Ark. Oh, my God, leave me alone. I'm 18, and he keeps treating me like a kid. Peter, I told you not to push her about this quagmire thing. If you push too hard, you're gonna push her right into his arms. Well, what am I supposed to do? Nothing. This is a big game Meg is playing, and the only way to win... ...for the weekend. What? Yeah, I drew you a crude flip book to explain what's happening. Okay, I got a little off track there, but they went to his cabin. Peter, quagmire has a name for that. Not gonna sleep with her. That's you, nerd. Look, everyone knows if you go away with a guy for the weekend and don't have sex with him, you're a huge bitch. We gotta stop them! So you admit you were wrong? Yes. Look, Peter, his car's still there. Maybe they haven't left yet. Quagmire, let me in, you son of a bitch! I'm sorry I'm not home to receive you. The reason being that you have... Oh, good luck to them. Peter! Oh, right, right, let's go! Get up there. I brought the ashes of my third grade teacher, Mrs. Nicholson, and spread them across the lake per her last request. Oh. The other was some skag I met on a dock four miles from here. What? Eh, strike four, Jelly Jellison. The other was my sister. Uh. <laughs> it's a loon. That's beautiful. You know, we ought to get a cabin up here. Pete, we're wasting time. Quagmire's in there about to have sex with our daughter. That son of a bitch. Let's... Wait, 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 wait a minute. Do you hear that? I don't... Meg, I'm only going to say this once. You may be an adult, but you're still my daughter. 
and it's my job to protect you from errant wieners. So I don't care how old you are, you're gonna do what I say and get in a damn car! Yes, Daddy. Peter Griffin. We heard alone. <sighs> you know, Mom and Dad, I'm really glad that you kept me from doing what I was gonna do. I had the mind of a 12-year-old. Elaine invited me over with the promise of pie. Little did I know this would lead to an eight-year-long psychosexual entanglement. She's probably dead now. Life's funny sometimes. Fine, why do you ask? Mmm, delicious. I will seriously consider purchasing this product. Oh, what have we here? Wiss? Oh my gosh. <laughs> This. Ross Fishman, is that really you? I haven't seen you since college. How are you? Great, great. Wow, Lois, you haven't aged a bit. Tasty glue. Well then, let the banquet begin. Whoa, whoa, what the hell are you doing? Don't eat that. Oh, for God's sake, don't be such a nerd. Look, I'm supposed to keep an eye on you. If Lois sees this, she'll kill me. <clears throat> you can let go. Maybe we could get together for a cup of coffee. Catch up. Well, I don't know, Ross. I'm married now. <laughs> well, so am I. Does that mean we're not allowed to stay in touch with old friends? Tell you what. Good night. You cannot tell Lois about this. Oh, and what if I do? I'll show her those pictures of you wearing her wedding dress. You said there was no film in that camera! Come on, Stewie, it's time to change your diaper. Um, I, 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 I wanted to tell you something, but I, 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 oh, I seem to be so charmingly befuddled. Ah, oh, that Hugh Grant is so handsome. Oh, is that how it is? Come here, you homewrecker! I can't let Peter's irrational emotions run my life. I'm gonna call Ross and see if it's not too late to take him up on his offer. Would you mind finishing up? Uh, sure. Yes, yes. Do you like cleaning my duty, Brian? What? Uh, the, the name is, is Higgins. What's your name? Tattoo. Oh, um, Peter. I'm just, uh, uh, gonna go out. We know you're in there. Come out with your hands up. Fooled ya. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah, you sure did. What the hell is this? It's the new police surveillance van. We're going on a big suspect. Minority suspect. Danger. He's got a gun. Ow, ow, ow. Oh. Gone. Great. Oh, please, where my eyes are like half closed. God, just take the damn compliment. What the hell is Lois doing with another man? Is it possible she's a fine with it? All right, let's see what we can pick up. Please don't spit in my eggs. Please don't spit in my eggs. Please don't spit in my eggs. Thank you for the eggs. We're losing them. Wait, I gotta hear more. Peter, the power's not supposed to go that high. Damn, this itches. I wonder who gave it to me. Probably that skank who needed a ride to the gas station. Last time I'd do somebody up. So Lois is seeing old boyfriends, huh? Well, two can play at that game. Now I just gotta find my little black book. Years! Yeah. So, uh, I guess you're married now, huh? Yeah! <laughs> hey, Ricky, you were right! I was... Uh, what is all this stuff? Oh, Peter, I have been waiting for this moment for 25 years! Oh, crap. All right, let me handle this. You were going 65, fella. That's 10 miles over the... Why are you holding that infant's hand? Uh, we met on... Huh, I wonder who that could be. Peter Gifford? <gasps> my God, Dora, my old girlfriend! What a surprise that you would want to look me up. You always passes these things for a reason, Lois. Oh, that's it. Peter, you're suffocating me with your jealousy. I can't take it anymore. I'm calling a marriage counselor. I mean, I can't even have coffee with a friend without you freaking out. Then I reviewed your situation, and I have a suggestion. We're willing to do whatever it takes. I'd like to put video cameras in every room of your house so that I can observe your uncensored behavior. Wow, just like that show... Ow! Ow! This hurts me more than it hurts you. Ow! Dear diary, Kevin is so hot. Today, he was out in the yard raking leaves. Ooh, that feels good. Hey, Lois, can you give me a hand with this jar? Oh, for heaven's sake, Peter. <laughs> gotcha! <laughs> with his nose. <laughs> hey, hey, you want to eat us? Up, oh, oh, turn him blue! Oh, 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 my God! God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. No, he's not budging. Come on, let's go to Cubert's. Ow, ow. Peter, you are welcome to stay with us as long as you like. Oh, thanks, Muriel. 
So, uh, what do you guys do for fun around here? We like to watch old movies while listening to Hotel. Do you want to go out? What? Well, I don't know, Glenn. Peter and I just separated. I feel like I need more time. How about now? What? Well, we are supposed to see other... Then how'd you feel to be a bachelor on the prowl once again? Eh, it's not as great as you might think. I guess I just don't have the same way with women that I used to. <coughs> mm, that was nice. That was... Uh, ladies, I'm a very desperate man. My name is Mort, and I live with my mother. And I have very low standards. <coughs> oh, God, there's blood in my mucus! Boy, we're gonna have a swell time tonight, Lois. Glenn, thank you for being such a good friend and looking after me like this. <laughs> no problem. It's kind of chilly out, so I brought you a jacket. Oh, no thanks. I'll be fine. Please? Nice to meet you. All right, I'm getting up. Hi, right, Peter Griffin. So where do you want to go? We can go anywhere except the disco. They don't let me in there anymore. Oh, stop it! <laughs> Tee-hee! <laughs>